Hey guys, and today we're gonna make giant bubbles. And today our guest is my friend Saisha. Hi. And so we're gonna make giant bubbles. So first, our, for for this, we're gonna need we're gonna need um dishwashing soap. So. We're gonna need some uh, guar guar some of gum, fork of gum, and we we're gonna use baking powder. This is optional, but it makes the bubbles last longer. And we're gonna be using this measuring cup. Well, because well, we need a measure size. So, so let's get started. Okay, first you have to pour one cup of dishwashing soap. Pour that right in. Stop! Oh. Good. So, one cup. It's a bit over, but it's yeah, okay. It's okay. It's a little bit over. Yeah. Next, um, you get your one cup of dishwashing soap and, just and pour, it pour it in. The bucket the whole thing. or thing. The whole thing. Just make sure you got everything in there. Now, you get one tablespoon of guar gum. And you're just going to pour that in. Well, get one tablespoon and just get that in. Oh. Make sure it's um, one tablespoon. Just brush off all the extras. Access. And, and just dump it in. Okay. Now you get one, one tablespoon of baking powder. And oh that's good. And just dump it in. And then you mix it all together. By the way, mix it very well. It should not it should not be lumpy. Yeah. Or else your bubble solution will turn out that much. Mix it in, mix it out. Sorry if you can see a pumpkin face, but oops. <laughs> it's tiny. Okay, we're back. It's good. Okay, so you have to mix it very well. Our we have a green bubble solution. This is so loose. Okay, go. And and you really want to mix it for like a while. A while so it doesn't have any lumps. And yeah. What um the mixture should turn out like. It should be smooth and runny. Yeah, and you probably want to mix it really hard to get it like this. We're using a giant container because we're going to need 16 cups of water nuts. But and just pour the liquid bubble solution in. It's okay if it gets a bit messy. Okay, so after you've got all of the 16 cups in, you're going to have to mix it. So it's pretty bubbly, as you can see. And you don't want that. So you have to mix mix. Be able to see the green so much. Okay, now for our bubble for our bubble solution, we need a wand to use it. So, yeah, so we're gonna be making some wands. What we're gonna need is sticks, but in our case we're using chopsticks. Yeah, you can use any sticks, but we we're using we're chopsticks. using chopsticks. And you're gonna need um, some some string. string. So we have like a whole like um thing of them and roll of them Let's so we're used and washers we're just using washers to put at the bottom so there's shape so because we want to try and go straight to bubble so let's get straight to it okay now we're going to make our wands yes yeah, so, so this is what we're going to make so you're this is how we do it so what we did is we got some string we just cut it into like one piece and we have like these two chopsticks okay and so, a little washer right there. So first, get the washer and just slide it through your string. And you kind of want to make your strings like a little thin so you can slide stuff 
screw it. And just slide it to the middle like that. So it should be about in the middle. That will be like this. So that would be this part right to here. There. Okay, now get your chopsticks. Get your chopsticks. So first you're going to start off the bottom. First, you start with one, and um, so first you start on one end, and so you first get this, and tie a loop. So first you do it on, you start or off with a knot, a double knot. You want to make it tight so it stays hold on to your chopstick. Yeah, because we don't want it coming off when we're already making the bubble. So. And it will just feel like the bubbles won't really work, work that well. Yeah. And you probably don't want to blow your bubbles in your house. Because they can get messy. Because it's all bubbly and stuff. And you don't really want to make them in your house. Okay, so now... You get this, and you have to measure how big it, how long you need to make it even, to make it even, like this. And for us, it's about here. So what we're going to do is get this and tie it to our next chopstick. So it, so you're, if it's, so, and you want to make sure it's even, yeah, like this, and it should be turning out like a triangle. Should be. Yeah, like this. Because of the washer. Yeah, if you see the washer, it actually pulls the, the string down like this. Oop, I have to measure it again. Be right back. So, we got our wine, so and our bubbles, bubbles ready, and, and our bubble solution. So, we're going to have... Um, make our giant bubbles now. Two. Wow. Slow mo. You want to close it like this so you get your two chopsticks and close it like that. And just dip it in your bubble solution. Then. Oh, no. Two things together. The chopsticks like this. So. And then dip it, the whole thing inside your bubble solution. It's not right though. Mine worked though. Really? Yeah, look at look. No, it's supposed to be giant, giant. Ugh. We're not having a good turnout. I see that one. <laughs> yeah, it's 